time on Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexal. He is going to use Hawk's power as a trigger to fire the sphere-filled cannon. Once Astro World is destroyed, Barian's power will be mine! And with that, this entire world will kneel before me! We can do this together! This is it! Unleash a force greater than anything you've ever faced! It is draining the other number's power. I feel myself growing weaker. I exceed summon number 53! Harder! Utopia! Rising Sun Slash! Shark Train, finish off that heart earth! Deep Sea Destruction! Galaxy Ice Photon Dragon, attack! Photon's dream of destruction! <gasps> no way! Is it over? It looks like Faker survived! Only now he's got a new friend! <laughs> an overlay unit, and thereby summon Heart Earth Dragon! Furthermore, once I've summoned this monster, any of your monsters that are in attack mode are immediately switched to defense mode. And so, you finally see how hopeless it was to challenge me, the greatest intelligence in the universe! You have no choice but to accept your defeat! <gasps> he switched our monsters up, and right before any attack could deal him damage. This guy's got more tricks than a magician. I wonder what else he's got in store for us. Let me show you! Get ready, you three! It's the trap fake form! Since the battle mode of your monsters changed, you're going to lose 400 life points for each monster you fools have on your field. Each one? Oh, no! You are... That's 1,200 points! Enough to terminate this duel! What do we do? I activate Curry Photon's special ability! I'll send this card from my hand to the graveyard, and then give up half of our life points. <laughs> now we won't take any damage from your trap. <laughs> uh. Kite! Be careful! You're wearing yourself out! Be quiet! No matter what it costs me, I'm gonna finish this. I'll never give up till I beat Faker! That's an unwise choice. If you had backed down, you would have saved yourself from even greater suffering. So be it! I draw! Heart Earth Dragon targets Shock Drake and eliminate it! What's he doing? 
His number has zero attack points. How's this for an ingenious plan? Heart Earth Dragon can't be destroyed in battle. Plus, any battle damage I would take gets negated. And that damage I would have taken impacts the three of you instead. Say what? He has us backed into a corner. We don't have nearly enough life points left to survive. That's right! Heart Earth Dragon, attack! Go Dragon Cannon Blast! Guys, we're in trouble! Trouble. I'll save us! My escape lord trap will deflect the attack! Good thing I had this card handy. With it, I was able to change the target of Faker's attack to a different monster. And the battle damage gets cut in half. Now Hard Earth Dragon's going after Utopia instead! Why'd Shark put Utopia in danger? Because if you lessen the damage to Faker, you lessen the damage to us! Hey, that's right. I'm gonna activate my trap half on break. This card will reduce any battle damage by half. I'll use its effect on Dr. Faker's Heart Earth Dragon. Why would he use a trap on my monster instead of protecting his own? Can't you figure it out, genius? By decreasing the damage to you, less damage gets deflected back to me and my friends. To be more precise, your attack on Utopia only results in 500 points of damage to Heart Earth Dragon. So we'll only take 500 points of damage. Is that clear enough, or are you still confused? Uh-oh. Ah! 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 Clever, I'll admit, but also pointless. I will now activate another one of Heart Earth Dragon's special abilities! All the damage that I took in this battle will be instantly wiped out! And my life points are restored by that amount! Uh, uh... I place a card face down and end my turn! It's your move! Oh, great! We've only got a hundred life points left! That's almost nothing! But it isn't huh? nothing! Sounds to me like you're ready to call it quits, Yuma! What? Uh, I've never given up before, and I'm not about to start now. Astral is counting on me to save him from Faker. And I'm not gonna let Astral down. Time to high-five the sky! Huh? I'm pulling out all the stops, Faker. Are you with me, Utopia? Go, Chaos Xyz Evolution! Make way for Chaos number 39! Utopia Ray! A chaos number! That's a powerful adversary indeed! But it still isn't strong enough to overcome the special abilities of my Heart Earth Dragon! His number seems totally unstoppable. Especially since it's got a gazillion and one special abilities. But even so, there's got to be a way to turn this duel around. But how? Come on, think. Ah! Of course! Go get him, Utopia Ray! Rising Sun Chaos Slash! Congratulations, boy! You've just sealed your team's complete destruction! That would be true, except I'm activating this card from my hand. It's the spell Gamusha Rush! This shrinks my monster's attack points to zero, but then you get bashed with 600 points of damage. <laughs> that worked out exactly like I planned. My turn is done. You tried some actual strategy for a change. Since attacks can't damage them, you found another way. It was only 600 points, but that's not bad. We can get this done. The important thing is to keep working together as a team. It's up to you now, Shark. Hmm. I can handle it from here! Ah! Ah! Gotta tough it out! I'm activating yet another of Heart Earth Dragon's special abilities! 
you summon a monster or put a card face down on your field, those cards are banished on the next turn! Banished? That's right! Say goodbye to Utopia Ray! Oh, he's trying to mess up our teamwork! <laughs> you must be joking! You actually think you three are working as a team? You're too different from each other! Face it, the bond between you simply isn't strong enough! <sighs> Sorry, but you couldn't be more wrong if you tried, Faker! We do have something important that connects us. It's the goal we share! We all want to take you down, and it's gonna happen! That's right, Shark. Shark Train! Let's do this! Go Chaos XE's evolution! Ah! Come on out! Chaos number 32, Shark Train Vice! Next, I'll activate my spell card, Deep Sea Attack! By sending Jaws Man in my hand to the graveyard, my monster can attack you directly! Shark Drake Vice! Attack Dr. Baker with Chaos Stream! He's steering clear of Heart Earth Dragon to finish off Baker. You got him, Shark! Not so fast! I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you by activating my trap, Fake Life! And now watch and weep as I take no damage from Shark's pointless attack, but instead boost my life points by the same amount! Every time we think we got him down, he bounces back up! I'll put a card face down and end my turn! Shark! We gotta get you some help! Not till we win this duel! But... Listen, Shark. Uh, huh? Don't worry, I've got it from here. I'll follow your lead and crush Faker for good. Here goes! I draw! You three will never learn! Once again, I activate Heart Earth Dragon's special ability! <laughs> Sorry, but you'll have to say goodbye to Shark Drake Vice! As you can see, your team is in a totally desperate situation! <laughs> As you can see, your team is in a totally desperate situation! I was waiting for you to do that, Dr. Faker. This is a desperate situation, but for you. What do you mean? I activate a trap. It's called Xyz Dimension Splash. This trap activates when it's banished. So thanks, Heart Earth Dragon. Because of that, I can summon two level eight water attribute monsters from my deck. But I was so close to achieving victory. I'm summoning two of my hyper ancient shark megalodons. Turned Heart Earth Dragon's special ability to your advantage! And now Kite's taking over and will finish what I started. Because the three of us can work together as a team! Ah, oh, Shark! <sighs> All set! I overlay Galaxy Eyes and Shark's two Hyper Megalodons! For these three monsters, I build the Overlay Network! IXC summon Neo Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon! Cool, now we're back in business. I've almost exceeded the limit of my power, but I have to hang on. I must find the strength within me! 
Neo Galaxy Eyes' special ability activates! It gets rid of the special abilities of all the other monsters on the field! Photon Howling! Harder! Your number special abilities are no more, Doctor! And by using one over the unit, Neo Galaxy Eyes can absorb all your numbers over the units. Oh, and here's something else that might interest you. Neo Galaxy Eyes gains 500 attack points for every overlay unit that it absorbed. 5,000 points? It can't be! Now then, Faker, are you gonna come to your senses and give up your insane schemes? Or will I have to force you to change your ways? How dare you threaten the universe's greatest genius! Guess I will have to use force. Neo Galaxy Eyes, attack with ultimate photon's dream of destruction! Heart free now. I won't ask again. Release him! Don't you see? I can't! You think you're helping Heart, but you're only putting him in greater danger! How is that? Because your brother cannot hope to survive unless Astro World is destroyed once and for all! <gasps> Once you see that Hart's life depends on Baryon World's power. Baryon World? Ever since his birth, Hart's physical condition was frail. I knew it would grow worse over time unless something drastic was done. In my quest to save the boy, I decided I had to look outside our world for a solution. Once I had decided that I would save Hart no matter what, I abandoned everything else. Even my own principles. Although I greatly respected Byron and Kazuma, I nevertheless betrayed them in order to open the portal we discovered. As I hoped, the portal did open to another world. I soon discovered it was called Baryon. It was a strange world with energy resources that seemed to be unique. Because of this, the inhabitants possess knowledge and technologies radically different from our own. I did not hesitate to make a deal with them. They promised me that they would save Hart, and in exchange, I agreed to destroy Astral World. My plan slowly took shape. It would require great force, but by harnessing the power of the numbers, I could use my Spherefield Cannon to target Astral World and obliterate it! Failure is not an option. I was told that if my mission does not succeed, Hart would be taken away. Why didn't you tell me all this before? I couldn't risk it. I was afraid that if you learn the truth, you might try something rash that could increase the danger. I will always be grateful to you, Kite. I asked much of you, especially when I needed you to become a number hunter to help your brother. Even then, you did not defy me. I wish I could have told you the whole truth about why I was driven to such extremes. But then... That was wrong of you, Father. You put your trust in Baryon without question, yet you couldn't find it in yourself to trust me, your own son! <gasps> My son! I've sworn to protect Hart and I intend to keep that promise, but I'll do it the right way, and that's by stopping Baryon World! Kite, you won't be fighting alone. I don't know a lot about Baryon, but I'll be battling at your side. And so will I. Shark! Don't get the wrong idea. Baryon has to be stopped, and I want to be in on the action. We'll join all of our powers together, just like we did today, guys. We can't lose! Father, you don't have to carry this burden anymore. We'll settle everything, I promise. I know what I'm doing. Please trust me. Yes, Kite! Dr. Faker! You almost succeeded, but at the critical moment, you faltered. Wait, what's wrong? 
No! No! Stay away! What's happening to you, Father? Since you failed me, I will have to complete what you began. to prove it. This duel is far from over. What do you mean? Who are you? I am from Barian World. 